Wait a second. Does it go live with the stream while I'm still setting up the thumbnail? Wait, could you see me that entire time? Wait, hold, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, could you, could you see me up until I started talking? YouTube chat, I need answers right now. No? I, I, I need answers on this. No. Just a picture of you. Okay. Whew. Okay. Okay, okay. Just wanted to make sure. I was adjusting the thumbnail settings. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just, uh, guess we'll just get right into it. Um, and I, I, I was, I was adjusting the thumbnail settings, like choosing which thumbnail to use, and then when it had finished, um, there were already people watching, so I was worried you guys were watching me, like, fucking fidget around, you know? But okay, happy to hear that's not the case. Um, yeah. So, um, the past couple of streams have been a little on the negative side, uh, because in lieu of the distractions that come with having a studio and a desktop to stream from, it's been more of a stream of consciousness. And to be honest, I've been pretty negative over the past couple of weeks. And um, what I was hoping to do today was do a positive stream. We would do a hope-filled stream, you know, which I like doing. I'm generally a pretty optimistic guy. And uh, I would say, like, we could come here and we'd talk positive, like, hey, here, you know, here's some stuff going on that's great. We should celebrate this victory. You know, here are the this and that and this. And it'd be good. Um, but then I canceled that stream because I have a stomach ache today. I don't know what I ate yesterday, but it has fucked me up today. I have, uh, I have uh, gone to the bathroom like eight times. And I thought, I don't want to deal with streaming um, uh, in, in this climate, uh, in this, um, in this gastrointestinal environment. But five minutes ago, I, uh, got a piece of news, which simultaneously ensured that I would be streaming and that that stream would not be, in fact, very hopeful. Um, Michael Brooks is dead. For those of you who don't know, Michael Brooks, host of the, you guessed it, Michael Brooks show, um, was a, uh, well, a, a leftist political commentator and activist uh, who, uh, w w frankly, was juggling quite a few projects. So uh, not to do him disservice, probably any recollection on my part would leave out a few of the things that he's done and the things that he was working on. So I won't try to. Um, Michael Brooks is dead. Uh, the post that I saw said that he had a sudden medical condition. I don't know what that means. It doesn't really matter. Um, the fact remains, of course. Yeah. Um, I was originally most familiar with his work, uh, watching him as a co-host on The Majority Report, which is a program I'm quite fond of, and I've come to see quite a few things from him following. Um, and uh, he's dead, which really sucks, because he was young. I mean, not like me young, but he was young. And, um, and, uh, yeah, it felt like he was really just getting started, um, with his political stuff. So I'm not going to pretend that I have some sort of deep personal connection to Michael Brooks. Uh, I have never, uh, spoken to him directly. Uh, I, I am not personally rent asunder, like, in, in the way that I would for, like, a friend or a family. Um, but I do feel a, a deep sadness, um, because he was a, uh, a, a great contributor to our intellectual and ideological efforts. Uh, he, he, uh, uh, was, at least in my, from what I saw of him, I think, um, a very, uh, non-grifty, Type. I think he was very sincere and passionate about the things 
that he advocated for, which is difficult. Um, people don't realize um, that sincerity is a gradient. Um, it's not just people who are perfectly sincere and people who are completely uh, grifty, don't care, you know. Uh, it's a gradient. And most people, uh, most people fall somewhere near the middle. It's difficult to commit uh, an entire uh, whole of your emotional passion to something so difficult and divisive. So people do tend to detach. But I think that uh, Michael Brooks was a... Um, uh, was very sincere in what he did. And I think that he deserves a great deal of respect for that. Uh, I, uh, I never talked to him, but I, I, hoped, I, uh, I hoped that I could have him on sometime. You know? Uh, I thought it would be nice. I mean, I figured it was almost an inevitability uh, that, that I would have him on sometime, and now it very obviously is not. Um, it's unfortunate. I feel like we could have had a good conversation. Um, or two, or three, or whatever. Who died? Michael Brooks. He was a leftist commentator. Yeah, no, he was just streaming. He was just producing content. No, he's not old. He's like, how old was Michael Brooks? Like, he couldn't have been older than 40. I think he, 40 is like on the old side, right? Like, like late 30s? Yeah. Mid to late 30s? Yeah. Yeah, he couldn't have been older than 40. Yeah. Mid 30s, I guess. A uh, deeply unfortunate reminder of our, uh, how do you find out? Uh, Sam Cedar's Twitter account. A deeply unfortunate reminder of our uh, mortality. Uh, um, not really much to do besides, uh, you know, try to learn from the content that he left behind. And, uh, yeah. Dude, he uploaded two hours ago. Well, he probably didn't himself hit the button on that. It was probably a scheduled upload. How did he die? The uh, text said it was a sudden medical issue. I don't know what that means. And of course, it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, I met him before, actually such a nice guy. Yeah, that's what I'd heard. I'd heard that Michael Brooks was actually like a, a very kind person, uh, interpersonally. Um, it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, it, uh, it just really sucks. And uh, as I said, I wasn't going to stream today uh, because I seem to have some sort of food sickness. Uh, but I am here anyway, um, because I think it is important in part uh, to do several things, one of which is to uh, 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 provide everyone an opportunity to be made aware of this and to feel bad over it. And secondly is to, I guess, leave you with some sort of positive message or uplifting note at the end of the conversation, um, which I guess we'll have to get to uh, with time. Um, there are two ways to view events like this, one of them a little more cynical than the other. The first of them is to mourn uh, Michael Brooks as a human being, um, which uh, different people will do to different extents. Uh, your level of personal attachment and familiarity with him obviously varies person to person. Uh, mourning him as a human being uh, really depends on what your priorities and what your level of emotional investment is as an individual. Um, but perhaps a little more cynically, but I would argue just as importantly, um, we have to mourn um, his death in the greater context of our, um, of our political environment. And I'd like to talk about that for a moment, if I may, if it doesn't come off as entirely too cynical. I can't help but think that... Um, not only is this not good for us in a sort of interpersonal sense, but uh, politically, the absence of Michael Brooks is a huge loss for the left. Um, he was an important man, and uh, it does uh, uh, worry me uh, very much uh, when stuff like this happens, not just interpersonally, but also... Uh, politically, tactically, as a matter of having our best representatives uh, and their foots forward. Um, there were some things with which I disagreed with Michael Brooks. There were some times I'd watch his things and I'd, I'd disagree slightly, felt maybe perhaps some um, slight ideological schisms. But I always got the impression I could have a conversation with the guy and come to a reasonable um, middle ground with him. Um, 
I, I always got that impression. It's one of the reasons why, in spite of me generally being a pretty uh, overtly critical person of other left-leaning content creators, never really did so with him, because I never got the impression that his whatever disagreements we may have had were a product of, um, were a product of uh, ignorance, griftiness, stupidity, what have you. I think that uh, slight disagreements are a natural byproduct of, uh, you know, living in a world with a hell of a lot of political information to consume. Um, yeah, so I, uh, yeah, Michael Brooks. Um, uh, from the, from the message that I read, uh, online, uh, from, from the Sam Cedar, uh, Twitter account, uh, it seems that they will be setting up a foundation in his name, no doubt going to be called the Michael Brooks Foundation, which is, I think, a wonderful foundation name. Um, uh, all things considered, it really, you know, really rolls off the tongue. Uh, and, um, uh, apparently, yeah, his family is going to be building that foundation to carry on his work. Um, hopefully all of the apparatuses he left, um, after his death can be, uh, sort of, um, filled or propped up by, um, other people. I'm sure that Michael Brooks would not, as an activist, Michael Brooks would probably not want his life's work to be treated as a museum after uh, his passing. He would probably want it to be uh, an ongoing effort. I know for a fact that if I had, you know, l large political projects going on and I were to pass, I probably would like that to be carried on in some fashion. So hopefully that can happen. You should read slash review his book. It just came out. Um, maybe. Uh, so hopefully that can happen in some fashion. Uh, it was just, it was, it's so shocking, uh, how quickly it happened. I, um, like I said, I've had a stomach bug today. I'm sorry for, for, um, what's the term for, um, uh, uh, not, not, not bastardizing. What's the proper term for, uh, degrading this conversation by repeatedly reminding all of you that I, uh, that I have, uh, had some sort of stomach bug today, but, uh, I literally just walked off, um, uh, to the restroom 15 minutes ago, uh, and I, uh, I, I grabbed my Nintendo Switch. I was ready to do my soy face as I played more uh, Super Paper Mario Origami Star, or whatever the fuck that game is called. And, um, and when, when, my, when Hyena alerted me uh, uh, that uh, Michael Brooks had died because they were on Twitter. So I set down the Switch and I picked up my phone and uh, yeah. Just 15 minutes ago. This stream is 13 minutes old as of right now, so it might well have been 15 minutes ago that I learned of this. Um, yeah. Wait, did you end up pooping? Let's focus on the important. Here, we'll we'll fill in the backstory later. Let's 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 focus on the important uh, on the important things right now. Um, the um, yeah. So let me think. I'm not the. T I don't like mourning uh, as a process. Um, I think. I mean, people need to do it. It's a biologically necessary part of our, you know, social engagement. Um, but I don't find it particularly fun or engaging to revel in. Um, so, in the absence of uh, much else to say on the subject of Michael Brooks's death, uh, I thought it might be nice to talk a little bit more about what he did uh, during his life. Uh, again, I said this earlier, but if I attempt to be comprehensive in my, um, in my recanting of everything he's done, um, then I would probably do him a tremendous disservice because I don't have a particularly good memory. But, um, yeah, Michael Brooks was, uh, was a, um, was a lefty, a proper socialist, you know, like, a, like a big boy, you know, like, uh, like, like, think like me. Uh, Sam Cedar is more of a social democrat. They worked together, of course, in the majority report. At first, I didn't actually know the difference uh, between the two of them um, with regards to their political opinions, because I would watch Sam Cedar, and he's more of a soak dem. Michael Brooks would come on, and sort of invariably, the the conversational topics would get pulled towards uh, whatever it was Sam was talking about uh, in in the in the context of that discussion, and. Um, there's a lot for socialists and social democrats to uh, to work together on, you know. So 
I didn't really notice much of a difference until I discovered the Michael Brooks show. And, um, and, uh, uh, um, I enjoyed it very much. Um, I, I had, it was, it was funny because, um, my the first time I actually watched an entire uh, segment of Michael Brooks was in his debate with Destiny, which was really funny to watch for several reasons. Um, first of all, Michael Brooks, God bless him, did not let Destiny get a single fucking word in uh, during that conversation, uh, which was hysterical. Um, uh, I mean, you can argue slippery debate tactics one way or another if you like, but it was it was very funny. What was the, what was that one quote? He he misspoke at one point, but Michael Brooks, yeah, Michael Brooks treated Destiny like a caller. It was it was a Chad move because the the con the context is different. I mean, depending on the engagement, if you're talking to a person one on one, you know, you try to give fifty fifty time. But if you guys notice that when I have somebody on, uh, that when I have somebody on the stream. Uh, I tend to talk over them, especially when we're not debating. When we're just having a friendly convo, I'll talk over them. It's because I'm used to debating where you have to be more aggressive. Sa uh, Michael Brooks is used to taking callers in a show where you have to talk over them because if you just let your callers like bowl over you, you'll spend three, you know, fucking hours of every four hour segment listening to people ramble. Um, so anyway, Michael Brooks, like, I think, what, what were they? Michael Brooks, like, talked for like an hour and then. Destiny was like, okay, okay, can I get in? And Michael Brooks was like, yeah, okay, you've got five minutes or something like that. Just some unbelievably, um, I mean, it was dickish, but it was it was very funny. Um, and and at one point, Michael Brooks said something like, oh yeah, you know, like I, I don't I don't know, like that's how it works, you know. Sometimes I'm right, sometimes you're wrong, um, which has been memorialized, I think, in the Destiny community. Hopefully, the Destiny community treats this with some. Um, uh, with some degree of levity. I know they're not a tremendous fan of Michael Brooks. I know Destiny is not a tremendous fan of Michael Brooks, probably for reasons at least similar to the reasons why I uh, would have been a little critical of his takes in the past. Um, but uh, uh, I, I'm sure that the people of that community can recognize that he has had an overwhelmingly positive influence. Um, yeah, uh, in, with, with regards to... Our Oh, for those of you who came in late, uh, Michael Brooks is dead. If you, you know, you don't have to ask in YouTube chat, you can take a look at the title of this stream, which says Rest in Power Michael Brooks. Um, and you can infer from that title that uh, Michael Brooks is dead. Um, that's true. It doesn't explicitly say Michael Brooks is dead in the title, but I, I've given you the tools you need. What caused his death? Probably like a pulmonary embolism or something like that. The, 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 the text document just said medical reasons, you know? Um, yeah. Anyway. God, me, my hands. Oh, look, it's the, the geckos. Yeah, here, hold on. Do I look stupid when I... Can we do this? We can do this for a bit. Oh, okay. Holding that damn phone up. I have to like twist my wrist around it too because I have the power cord plugged in. Oh yeah, the quote was, we can have different opinions. Sometimes I'm right, sometimes you're wrong. Yeah. God, that was funny. I need to rewatch that discussion. It was really goddamn funny. Um, yeah. Well, anyway, anyway. Anyway, um, what are some lessons we can learn from this? Um, wait, what is that? Destiny's chat is being Destiny's chat. Honestly, I had to dip out. I couldn't take it. Yeah, I mean, they're a fairly irreverent bunch. I won't defend it. I, personally, I'm of the opinion, uh, I'm of the opinion that, why are people commenting about minute? Guys, I just haven't trimmed it yet. Jesus Christ. You know, I work on my computer, right? Do you think I'm like, do you think I'm a fucking construction worker? Do you think, oh, Jesus Christ. What is this fucking fight club? Like every day I need to wake up like, all right, well, my nails have gotten more than three, two thirds of a millimeter. Hmm. This is, this is, this is not suitable for the work that I engage in. What the fuck do you think I'm doing every day? Do you think I do work? I, okay. All right. Hold on. We're going to, we're going to focus. I'm not letting chat bait me. Okay. All right. Um, anyway, I, I, I think that, uh, it's really important even in, uh, times of great sadness to be irreverent and kind of uplifting in your sadness because, uh, otherwise for many people, life would just suck forever. 
Um, life is endless suffering. That's just how it works for all of us, unfortunately. And uh, it is important to, I guess, maintain the composure necessary to not make light of, but at the very least to have a positive bent uh, on, your, um, on your suffering. Uh, that was the subject of a Contra uh, video, if I remember correctly. Yeah, dear Doge, he was. And sorry, Brandon Butterfield. Thank you both for the donations. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, on on a we'll, we'll we'll cap the what contrapoints video the darkness. The darkness is all about using edgy humor as a way of uh, contextualizing and dealing with internal trauma or pain or what have you, which is important to do. Um, you know, I think in in most cases, I I feel like uh, in most cases, I feel like. Um, the um, the person most likely to make jokes about the death of a loved one would have been the loved one who passed, of course. Uh, the selfish bastards, of course, they're dead, so they don't need to suffer their own absence. But, um, yeah, the um, it reminds me a little bit. You know, who here uh, uh, felt a, a, a deep pang when Wreckful died? Very popular Twitch streamer, World of Warcraft. Any of you? Do I have any? Capital G gamers in the audience. I see a few people. Yeah, I see a few people. Um, well, Wreckful was... Well, Wreckful was actually probably a significantly larger public figure than Michael Brooks was or that I will ever be. Holy shit, these big gamers. Um, but uh, he, he was... Uh, Wreckful was a person who struggled with... Uh, Manic depression for most of his life. I, I think damn near all of it. Like, that dude's brain was just tanked. But, um, but, uh, anyway, he, uh, yeah, he, he killed himself recently. And, um, the, uh, broader gaming community, uh, responded to that in, in many, many, many ways. Um, I think that the, I think the healthiest, uh, point in the recovery process, personally, is the one where where you're sad but you can joke about it. I feel like that hits like a, a good balance. Um, yeah, radical reviewer. I'm afraid so. Um. So maybe we'll progress to that point sometime in a week in a month. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but with that said, Michael Brooks, uh, you were a, a good left arena. Um. We should all. Uh, um, always, uh, be aware of the fact that our time here is, uh, uh, temporary, um, and, uh, yeah, make the most of what you can, what you do. Uh, I think that ultimately, and maybe it's a little crass to say, I think ultimately, um, as much, uh, of a tragedy his death is, it's important to remember that, um... Michael Brooks, by any account, lived a very successful life. And personally, um, I, I am more heartened to see the early passing of a, of a, of a, a, a person who was um, tremendously ambitious and successful in uh, uh, making positive changes to the world uh, than, I would, um, than I would believe that they'd... Um, have been better off, uh, quiet, but longer lived. Uh, so congratulations to Michael Brooks. You checked out early, but you were, you were nailing it, uh, pretty much just the whole way through, uh, which is more than the vast majority of people can say. Um, and, uh, I think, I think that's, that's the, you know, most resounding positive message that can come from it. Yeah, cel celebrate the life, you know. The worst part is literally 30 seconds before Sam Cedar found out about Michael Brooks. He was reading off a message from a viewer who was rejoicing in Michael Brooks being absent that day. Yeesh. That is a, uh, that is a difficult one. Um, you know, in retrospect, that's horrific. But... I kind of feel bad for the viewer because I really, really, really doubt that viewer wanted Michael Brooks dead or anything even remotely approximating that. As a as a purveyor of live streams for a decade, I've made a lot of really mean jokes to the people who were 
who were running those streams and having made a mean joke like that and then if one of them just immediately died i would feel pretty goddamn bad about it there's a i think there's there's always a, a drive when somebody dies tragically to find a person to blame blaming people is is easy blaming people is great uh blaming people feels amazing because if you don't blame a person for stuff like this you're kind of left with just the unsettling lingering feeling that there's nothing you can do to control the movement of the universe and you're just all sort of caught up in the ebbs and flows of a tide you'll never understand uh, blaming people assigns culpability to tragedy, which is really, really, really satisfying. When Wreckful, well, a little bit before Wreckful died, he, in a manic episode, I, I say this, I and I feel, I felt a little connected to Wreckful in this, because Wreckful has what I have. Wreckful has bipolar disorder. Uh, obviously, his was quite a bit worse than mine, but it's the same basic, uh, you know, mannerisms. And um, Reckful uh, uh, proposed to his girlfriend, who he hadn't seen in months because of COVID and travel restrictions, and um, over Twitter. Hadn't seen her in ages. Just proposed over Twitter, just completely out of the blue. And um, obviously that didn't run down too well. Uh, and then he stopped responding. Oh, they were broken up at the time. I'm really sorry, ex-girlfriend. My apologies. So that much better, huh? And um, obviously it didn't roll over too well in the free marketplace of ideas. And then Ruckful killed himself. And a lot of people wanted to blame his ex-girlfriend, um, which is horrifically unfair. Apparently the ex-girlfriend uh, didn't even see the tweet until after Ruckful was dead. So there was actually no relationship between... Um, the ex-girlfriend in Reckful's death, none whatsoever. But people wanted to blame her anyway um, because people like assigning responsibility. Um, so it seems in this case, as far as I know, unless more information comes out, I could be proven wrong in the future. I don't think anyone's to blame um, uh, um, for the death of Michael Brooks, except for, of course, the parents of Michael Brooks for selfishly bringing another life into this world. And... Um, we should uh, focus, I think, on picking up pieces, I think. Um, yeah. yeah Anti-natalism gang rise up. No, no, I'm not an anti-natalist. Uh, yeah. Let me catch up on these donos. Um, I'm not particularly good at hosting a fucking awake. Uh, there are a couple other things I think are worth talking about that aren't Michael Brooks related. The Pie Man with the incredibly kind 20 bucks. Not gonna lie, last phone stream was really depressing, seeing how many addicts in denial compromise your audience. Oh, don't call them out. Jesus. This event just brought it down further. Rest in power, Michael Brooks. Take care of yourself, comrades. Yeah. Today's just terrible all around for America. Michael Brooks is dead. I've had a stomach ache. It's... Yeah. Gotta cope. Ferdov's Yoldashev, thank you very much for the $10. Um... Wait, what? How did he die? I think it was a pulmonary embolism, but um, but uh, that's I, I I don't I don't know. There's not much information out at the moment. He, this I got word of this thirty minutes ago. Um, donate this stream to the Michael Brooks Foundation. The Michael Brooks Foundation doesn't exist yet. I th they said they were going to be setting it up, but the actual legal edifice of the Michael Brooks Foundation is going to take a long time to set up. But when it's set up, you know, I'll donate to it. Yeah, yeah sure. All right. Jadis Tucker with the 12 bucks. I'm so sorry I just got here. What happened to Michael Brooks? Uh, he uh, died. You probably heard that by now, but uh, he died. Uh, hopefully painlessly. We don't know. Uh, no way of knowing, but that's our hope, I suppose. And, um, yeah. Oh, sorry. I rushed off the stream so quickly I didn't get a pillow. God help me. My partner, if you're watching this, if you ran in here and tossed me my pillow so I can put it underneath my lower back, that would mean the world to me. Holy shit. How weak our bodies are. Did you hear the judge whose house they shot found? Yeah, TP, don't worry. We're talking about that one too, baby. Noah East, the five bucks. I'm devastated beyond words. He was a massive influence on me politically and otherwise the world didn't serve him. Yeah. Right. Yeah, just... You, you can't be seen, yeah. Just... I said toss it to me, not drop... Okay, I'll get it. Jesus Christ. Do you hear about the Fox News sexual assault lawsuit? No, I don't know anything about that, actually. 
Fox News sexual assault lawsuit. That sounds like the sort of thing I would need to do some research on before feeling comfortable making any strong statements on it. I think it was dropped a few hours ago. Tucker and Hannity were named. Yeah, dude, the guys at Fox News are like nonstop raping their female coworkers. Are you kidding me? Have you ever have you ever heard like what the fucking corporate culture is at Fox News? Like from any of the former employees? Jesus Christ. Brian Conrad with the incredibly kind 10 bucks. Angie and Peter's last podcast episode is literally just coping with you calling them out. The episode thumbnail is just one of your self-portraits around a free baby. Yeah, I took a listen to some of the bits of that Low Society episode. Um, uh, I think it would be an understatement to say that uh, I am uh, um, disappointed um, uh, by the severity of their impropriety. Um, and yeah... I don't really benefit from perpetuating that drama, so uh, I won't dignify it by, like, going over it on stream, but it was legitimately one of the most, like, pathetic cope-fests post uh, uh, in, in fucking voshed arrangement syndrome over there. Full-on, like, calling me, like, uh, McCarthyist, you know? Um, anyway, they have fun, and I hope they do have fun, and I'll do this. R. Garrett M., that's very kind of you. Thank you. Andrew Dax, the $5. Never understood parasocial relationships till right now. Never really been affected much by celebrity deaths, but this feels like a gut punch. Yeah. And it, uh, you know, it bodes poorly for our movement as well. We need those voices. Vosh cringe with the five bucks. Snowflake lefties who complain about your brash and edgy aesthetic fail to realize that's how you'll pull a young men over and away from the alt-right. Yeah, it's a uh, ongoing discourse. Yeah. Uh, hold on, we gotta read some more of these. Aziel Paz, the incredibly kind 10 bucks. This sucked. Uh, sucks. I watched his show while I worked night shifts. His laugh was so contagious. I think we can all agree. The Michael Brooks laugh was an American treasure. We can all agree on that, right? Um, that was a... Uh, that was a... Good... He had a, a good guffaw... There are probably compilations of it on YouTube. I think he was well known for his laughing. Hold on. Just the sniffles, same as every other stream. You know how it is. You hear about Roger Stone getting caught saying the N-word? Yeah, we gotta talk about him. Uh, we gotta talk about everything. Aiden Heron with the five bucks wrote Michael Brook. We gotta fight even harder now in his memory. Uh, true leftist goat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just means we have to fight that much harder. Sheesh. Um, I'm uh, on a little bit of a time limit today. In 27 minutes, Xander Hall, if I remember correctly, is going to be doing his first... Uh, sorry, no, not his first. His last live stream um, in his... Um, uh, uh, in his shitty, uh, abusive parent house. Um, fucking hairs on my mustache. And, uh, that'll be at 5 p.m. PST, and I will be respectfully deferring, uh, the stream to him at that time. But until then, the floor is mine, baby. Alex Newman, no problem. Thank you so much for the 100 ruples. Good luck, trans people in Russia. You are in a rough position. Uh, the sauce plea, uh, the five bucks. Thank you so much. I have not seen Bo the Fifth Column's most recent video, but I have faith in his content, and I'm sure it's wonderful. Okay, listen up. We've got a lot to talk about. Um, unfortunately, that is not um, related to the death of Michael Brooks, but unfortunately, it is still, generally speaking, bad news. Let's run into it. So first of all, this is just a little aside point. Um, just a little aside point here. First of all, um, apparently a judge who was presiding over a case regarding financials um, held uh, 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 by those with, affiliated to Epstein uh, has uh, had their family killed. Um, <laughs> uh, has had their family killed. Um, uh, in a in a in a hit, um, that yeah the judge was just appointed, 
uh, and uh, apparently uh, a hitman dressed as a uh, FedEx worker uh, made his uh, made his way into the house of the judge and shot both um, the judge's wife and son, killing the son. I believe the wife is still alive. Uh, now, of course, we don't know for a fact that this was a hit because the hitman is dead, conveniently. Or the husband? Oh, wait, it was a reverse. Sorry, not wife, the husband. My apologies, the husband, not the wife. I think I read spouse. Anyway, um, the husband and son. Um, sexism. Wait, are you guys implying that it couldn't have been a lesbian judge? You pieces of shit. Anyway, we don't actually have proof, of course, that it was a... Um, that it was uh that it was a hitman. It could have just been could have just been a random random planned murder done by a professional with a disguise who then died at the scene and didn't steal anything, you know. Could have been a completely unrelated uh uh crime, you know, no affiliation whatsoever, not an obvious attempt to terrorize a judge presiding over uh, an Epstein case. Um never know. It was a fucking hit, guys. Come on. That shit's right out of the fucking movies. Come on. This is some easy... Yeah, come on. <sighs> Shame they couldn't take the hitman alive. Anyway. So, we have that. Um, what more? Trump has now completely switched over to endorsing the use of masks. Just about two and a half hours ago, I think, he posted a tweet of him in a mask saying that uh, patriotic Americans wear masks if they can't social distance and that... Uh, we love our patriots, don't we? Uh, which has led to him being, I think, almost ratioed. Uh, the insane um, cynicism uh, of him downplaying this oh, month after month after month after month, him refusing to wear masks in public, uh, him downplaying their effectiveness, him uh, 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 allowing like sort of uh, shit talking of Fauci, you know, and the, the rules set forward. Um, hold on, wait one second. How are you all pretending like things are normal? Michael Brooks is gone. Sir Piffington, my friend, my good, good friend. There is no normal, okay? Good people die every day, but Michael, Michael Brooks of all people would probably want lefties to continue making the world a better place in his absence, more so than any other group of people, okay? I know for a fact that if I died, I would not want the entire online left to hold still and, you know, uh, 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 keep our voices in our throats uh, for some arbitrary length of time afterwards. Now, what was I saying? Anyway, Trump's being ratioed for that. The cynicism is fucking insane. Um, unbelievably so. How likely is it that Ghislaine Maxwell will be killed? I would bet anything on it. There's no fucking way that bitch lives to testify. Jesus Christ. There's just, there's no goddamn way. Blue Cool with the 10 euros. Thank you was debating Trump being a racist with some rando. He randomly switches the convo from BLM to Crusades. How am I supposed to debate these people? If people pivot, just call them out and just say, no, we're focusing on this topic. Are you pivoting? If people pivot, ask them if they're conceding on the previous topic. That gets them really fucking mad. Um, that gets them really, really angry. Um, Sam Parr with the five books. Did you hear that about the White House putting out an article on how to identify trans women? Yep. Uh, the White House has um, put out info on shelters no longer being required to house trans women. And uh, what they put out a memo on how uh, you can identify a trans woman by the presence of facial hair and Adam's apple height, shoulder, like they actually have the list. It's really impressive, actually, the commitment. Um, this is such a piece of shit country. Yep. So that's pretty cool. Um, so we'll uh, we'll see how that runs. Uh, yeah, it's, that's going to hurt a lot of cis women, too. You've probably seen those news stories that occasionally go viral um, about uh, how, like, the, the like cisgender women being prevented from entering women's bathrooms because they have, like, a slight... Ad we People do realize that everyone has an Adam's apple, right? Like, everyone knows that. Right? Like, everyone has the... Th it's just different levels of prominence. It's, it's just... It's a... a, a, a what's more, cis women... Oh, sorry, it's an Eve's apple. There we go. My apologies, yeah. Um, uh, uh, cis women can grow facial hair, and uh, cis women can have uh, broad shoulders and be tall, um, as a matter of fact. I, I don't know if this is publicly known. Um, I know that 
most of the dipshits online who will be defending this pro probably only seen like women's proportions from anime, so they think they all look the same, but um, it, this will hurt a lot of cisgender women as well. And what's more, and this is the fact of the matter, the existence of this edict means that every shelter is going to have one or two blowhard fucking MAGA hats who will personally inspect every single femme who comes in with colored hair, which is going to lead to a lot of sexual assault as well. Every single fucking time someone comes in looking a little bit queer to these people, they're going to grab them, they're going to fucking frisk them top to bottom, fucking microscope to their jawline um and yeah it's we're we're essentially endorsing like the the uh the uh genital inspector you know federal the fgi um to to you know operate sort of independently at all of these shelters uh so that'll that'll be good uh but trump and biden just the same exactly the same that's something biden would have done by the way Biden definitely would have, with absolutely no consultation from medical uh, or social groups, just randomly decided to not only ostracize transgender people from uh, shelters, but also to put out a uh, public edict on how to visually identify trans people. To uh, sure, uh, one way, or the totally identical, you know, 100%, just across the board. Um, Crow Q with the 10 euros. You mentioned 4chan a few times. So do you have history there? Yeah, I went on 4chan a lot in high school. It's my home, but pull being pull makes it so hard to defend the site. Also, grats taking my donator V card before anyone offends. Hey, happy to be here, comrade. Yeah, 4chan, uh, 4chan's still probably like the meme hub of the internet, though I think Twitter is rapidly catching up. Uh, something awful doesn't do that much anymore. There are some boards in 4chan that are pretty defensible, but pull rots the entire site. Um, I, a lot of the other boards also hate poll as well, um, which is um, which is pretty funny, you know, because they're all on the same site, you know, uh, because you can like all the other boards will be trying to have a conversation. And then, you know, when like a poll tard comes in because they like st start like spamming the N word and talking about Western civilization and stuff. Yeah, music is OK. I used to go on I a lot. I was my shit. The illustration board, that was I, right? It's been a really long time. Where you would do draw threads, like, hey, I can draw, and then you'd post the the drawing, and they and you'd take requests and stuff like that. That was I, right? Good old TG, too. I haven't been on TG in a while. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I have history with 4chan. I don't go in there anymore that much. 4chan's just outdated these days. It's just not that fun. Also, I think uh, Innuendo Studio said it best when he said that the... Uh, perpetual anonymity of the board prevents people from having to grow up because there are no consequences for any of their shit opinions, meaning that um, meaning that everything is just like a perpetual boiling pot, but it never nothing ever like comes out from it. It's just like it's always like a yeah. I like I like seeing the development of communities in a little bit more of a concrete way. Um, yeah, a lot of wacky folks today in YouTube chat. There are probably a lot of 4chaners who are crowing over the death of Michael Brooks, unfortunately. Um, but that should only be a reminder to us how much uh, 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 he was living rent-free in all of their heads. Uh, I, do, I do hope that uh, uh, following his passing, um, the properties that Michael Brooks had set up shop in inside the heads of all the dipshit reactionaries online uh, will be properly, you know, um, passed down to uh, his next of kin. Um, one can only hope. Man. What was that... What was that other big thing I wanted to talk about? What was that other big thing? There. Well, I try to remember. Do you think the Republican Party is slowly falling apart recently? Do you think Trump is causing a big divide? No, I don't think so. There are like five Republican Party officials who haven't just completely given in to Trump. Even, dude, fucking Ted Cruz's, Trump called Ted Cruz's wife ugly. And Ted Cruz is still 100% on the simp train. These people are pathetic. Fascists fall in line. That's how they are. Authoritarians have a submissive mindset. Their skulls, you know how it is. Michael Armour, thank you very much for the 10 bucks. Late to find your channel. Love watching Michael Brooks for the last few years. Wish I'd known your material for as long as his. Glad I found your channel around the time we lost a, uh, a comrade. Yeah. Well, I haven't been doing content anywhere near as long as Michael Brooks. This channel is only about a year and a half old, believe it or not. We've grown really quickly. Um, but yeah. Hopefully, um, yeah, thank you. Hopefully, uh, we can, uh, 
do as much good as Michael Brooks and then uh, do more good than Michael Brooks. The best way to honor people in your line of work is to surpass them in every conceivable sense uh, as through uh, uh, their inspiration. I think, I think that is a tremendous way to honor people, uh, to work hard, inspired by their uh, vision and their passing, and to uh, imagine yourself in a position they would have been proud to see you in. Um, just my personal opinion. Uh, I don't know. Very important point about the homeless shelters. With how racialized physical appearance is and the gender normativity, it'll be black cis women who get told, sorry, we need to see your birth certificate. Oh my God, that is so fucking true. I don't know what it is with like the skull. I don't, I don't know if there's something wrong with their eyes. For some reason, like people think black women look masculine. I've never gotten that trope. Even before I was a leftist, I never got that trope. I don't know. I, I, I guess, I mean, I guess it's like racism's not rational, but like I've never understood that. Um, even slightly, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, I think it's, yeah, it's like cope. It, it, it's, it's like they, they're like throwing into the wall. They see what sticks. Um, so yeah. Um, oh, hold on one second. Hide Wari with the five pounds. Ariel Scarcella's token trans friends who used to defend her constantly seem to all be coming out against her now. Good fucking idiots. Sorry, I know that everyone wants to be the good trans, but Ario Scarcella was so obviously bigoted for, like, years. I took a look back at her old content. Ario Scarcella became irrelevant really quickly, too, by the way. Have you guys actually taken a look at, like, the channel? I can't check right now because I'm on my phones, but um, once you pop the bubble, like, the griff dies, you know? All of Ario Scarcella's popularity was predicated on her making videos like le lesbian squirt methods? Top 10 tips to shoot the farthest rope or something like that, you know? And the thumbnail would be like basically like a porn like a Pornhub video, like thumbnail, tactfully censored. Um, that was it. That was seriously, look at her most popular videos. That was all of her popular videos. How far can you stretch uh, bringing over my gal pals to, to point at dildos and say what they think they can take, you know? Like... It was, like, real obvious, like, jerk-off bait for 13-year-old boys. Am I a fan of the Lincoln Project? I'm afraid I don't know much about it, Carolina Blood, apart from the fact that I know it exists. Um, let's talk, no. Pulling a parent from the alt-right, no. My advice still applies to the friend. Most parents who are alt-right won't be pulled over because people who are alt-right are generally authoritarian, almost always authoritarian, and um, authoritarian parents probably aren't going to listen to shit their kids have to say. The Lincoln po Project is never Trumpers trying to do sick burns. I don't have a Excellent memory. You'll have to forgive me. What's based? Love you too, Tree Smix. Smake? Smoke? I don't know. <sighs> yes, to everyone who's coming in here late, Michael Brooks is dead. What do you think of JPEG Mafia? I'm afraid I don't know who that is, Dope Smonk. I mean, well, I've heard JPEG Mafia, but I haven't... I, I don't know what they are or what they do. Um, facial recognition AI is a difficult time correctly gendering um, colored... Did I just say colored people? People of color as well, revealing the bias of Silicon Valley. I will, I will play, uh, don't, don't need me. I will actually play devil's advocate on this one. It actually makes sense that, um, it actually makes sense that um, facial recognition would have a harder time with uh, dark skinned people because dark skinned people, the shadows their faces cast on themselves are not going to be as discernible uh, through camera technology. Like for, for a light skinned person, it's hard to tell right now because I'm in shit light. But for, like for a light skinned person, because we're lighter, the shadows we cast in our face is, um, are, are going to be more pronounced. I don't know the extent to which it's bias and the extent to which it's just a byproduct of like, um, uh, you know, light differentials and contrast and stuff like that. Um, probably an interesting technological subject Though keep in mind, bias by intent um, is not the only prerequisite for determining the existence of bias. Bias by outcome is still bias. If you try to develop a technology completely non-racist and it still ends up favoring one group over another for technological reasons, that's still a bias. Um, 
Drives me insane how many reactionaries like Sauger and Nuance Bro are ripping Brooks on Twitter given his beliefs. Yeah, because Sauger and Nuance Bro both try to do the like, you know, the civil discourse bullshit. They're probably cackling inside. Um, Balthazar with the five bucks. Joe has to creepily sniff the hair of a trans girl before I can clear him of those charges. Ah, yes. Soon, okay? When, when Joe Biden first does his when when joe biden first does his like lgbtq 2022 like white house tour like walks up to like a trans activist or something and says yeah you're um you had a you're you became a, w a woman right you um you're a girl now right and then inhales um uh, 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 uh like 14 seconds of perfume you know then we will know that uh, that 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 Biden is the pro trans candidate of the ages. Big sniff. I hate that this is so believable. Yeah, I love you too, Coco. Thank you. We should all stay strong and stay based. Is Kung Fury based? I don't know what that is. You mean Kung Fu Fury? Colby Mays, thank you for the five bucks. Best friend of fifteen years recently got off the Trump Trump train, and I recommend your content to him. Now he's a leftist and quotes you. Thank you so much. Oh my God, that's really happy to hear, comrade. Thank you so much. And hey, thank you to your friend. It takes a lot of conviction to change your opinion after, um, you know, after a long period of time. Oh, really quick. We're a little late on time. I just want to talk about Roger Stone. Um, I want to talk about Roger Stone really quickly. Uh, so Roger Stone is a racist. Wow. Oh, incredible. Wow. This is so surprising. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. A person, a conservative who worked with Trump is a racist. Oh, my God. Um but I think it'd be nice to actually do some content on the extent to which Roger Stone's um, sentence being, oh, God, help me. What's the term? Uh, come on. His, his sentence being, um, come on, commuted. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, uh, is, is evidence of corruption. It's actually insane how blatant it was. Roger Stone literally just went up there and, like, perjured himself for, like, just days and days and days. And then and then Trump went on Twitter and Trump was like, thanks, Roger Stone. You, you just look glad some people still know the meaning of loyalty. Wink! And then Roger Stone went to prison and then his sentence was commuted by Donald Trump, you know? It's like, it's actually insane. Something has to be done about that legally because if not, this could happen every time. Anytime there's a presidential administration, the president can just tell people to perjure themselves and then with the promise that their sentences will be commuted as soon as they're actually committed to the prison. Like, it, it's... It, you can legally do that. Now, obviously, if you're telling somebody to perjure themselves, that's also a crime. But you don't have to tell them. You can just say, like, hey, Roger, if you do get sentenced i'll help you out Th like there are there are ways I i'm just like it's incredible the extent to which corruption has been made legal um and very very possible please listen to communist slow jams by jpeg mafia on stream maybe comrade thank you michael armor thank you for the five bucks watching you and destiny eat fascists alive and debate brought me almost as much joy as brooks impressions of rubin and right-wing mandela do yeah his dave rubin impression was top fucking tier i need to get on my impression game in in memory of michael brooks senator tom cotton's preparing to make a run for the presidency in the future he's definitely a considerable threat yeah we need to do an expose on him on stream for sure Annoyed gamer with the very kind 10 bucks. Transphobes. Gender real. Also transphobes. Women can't have Adam's apples. True! That is true. Because um, they have Eve's apples. That's science, dipshit. Fyodorov's Yoldish over the 10 bucks. Vosh, can you please stay alive and not die out of the blue like Michael? Love you. Well, I don't have like a family history of medical conditions, so if I do die out of the blue, it's either going to be suicide, assassination, or... Uh, some kind of uh, 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 domestic scuffle where a uh, hyena has finally had enough of me screaming poggers into my microphone and uh, attacks me during stream. <laughs> and honestly, I mean, I, I put them through some. I put hyena through so goddamn much. I honestly, I couldn't blame them. I couldn't blame them. 
That's why? <laughs> That's why they're not in my will. I, can't, I couldn't blame them, but I'm not going to reward you either. I haven't written a will. I'm kidding, of course. I'm 26 years old. Liam with the five bucks. Just heard you went to Humboldt State. I'm going there now. What was your experience there like? Um, it's a beautiful part of the world. Humboldt State University. Gorgeous. It's unbelievably beautiful um, up there. A um, lot of hippies. For real hippies. Like real... I don't mean just like people who do Wicca. I mean like real hippies. Um, Arcata, which is the town Humboldt State University is in. It's very small. It's a nice walk depending on where your apartment is. Uh, there's a lot of nice community there. I felt a little ostracized there personally because I'm kind of a gamer bro. Like, I just like do... I, I, I like, when I go out, I want, I want to be able to go to nice restaurants, which they have. Uh, I want to be able to, you know, if I'm going to like do a social event, I want it to be like a game shop or something like that. It's not really the vibe up there. But if you're into outdoor, oh man, the hiking... There is no better place in the world for hiking. That's not an exaggeration. That's not an exaggeration. Humboldt State University is literally connected to a hiking range, a hiking trail. Um, there's a, a hiking trail runs between the main campus and one of the main uh, apartment dorms. I got really good hiking boots for my time up in Humboldt State University. And I would, um, and uh, I just walk around. It rains a lot up there. Make sure to bring umbrellas. Uh, and it gets cold, too. Misty, as well. Umbrellas, jackets, coats sometimes, even. Um, but the hiking is worth it. You'll have to be in really good shape to do it. I did hiking once with a classmate of mine um, who invited me. And uh, I, I didn't realize how athletic she was because that hike obliterated my asshole. Um, just, just ruined my asshole. Love you, failed Imagineer. Thank you for the seven Canadian. We're going to make it through. Um, yes, Barachute, thank you for the 10 bucks. Nothing is as good as my Joker impression. I will work on my Biden impression, okay? It just annihilated my asshole, that hike. That hike, literally, the path involved the movie thing where you have to shimmy along a cliff face while hugging, like, the rock and try to, like, shimmy around it. And at one point, you actually had to jump. I don't, I can't, I actually can't believe that's part of, like, the actual hiking trail. I don't even know if it was, but that's where she led me, okay? Um, and if you fuck up, there was, like, a slope underneath um, that, like, launched off into, like, really dense shrubbery. So if you fall, you're not guaranteed to die. Oh, I don't remember the, the name Hyena. It was where I went with uh, Jimena. Um, um, what if she was just fucking with you? Well, I kept up. I was nowhere near as athletic as her, but uh, I uh, I kept right the fuck up. Um, oh hey, Shoe on Head, um, you've missed our uh, you've missed our wake. I'm right about the end. Uh, nice to have you here. Um, it was probably Patrick's point. Yeah. Anyway, it was a really really good a, a Humboldt State University and the area around it is just gorgeous, just gorgeous, um, just gorgeous. Oh, and there are a lot of banana slugs. Big slugs. They're about this big. Like they can get like this big. They're big. They're like a like a like multiple ounces. Those slugs. Uh, Klaus Mouse. If somebody makes a conspiratorial claim, ask them to provide evidence. That's all you can really do. Those people are fucking crazy. Thoughts on creating the state of Jefferson, very north of California, to get DC statehood? Why would that? How would that get DC statehood? So you'd have like fifty-one states. So they'd be like, fuck it, might as well have fifty-two. Um, I like California being all together personally. Um, makes taxes easier. I don't know. Lilo and Bitch of the Five Bucks. How would it look if the contemporary proletariat owned the country today? How would modern-day American socialism be implemented? Uh, I have a video on that. I'm afraid that I'm about to end stream, so I can't answer in full, but the video is how I would do socialism or something like that. How I would build socialism. And that's my opinion on the matter, you know? Um, sorry, it's just a pretty it's a, uh, expansive question. Um... And Jesus Christ, the five bucks. Uh, honored to have you here, uh, my lord. Wish I could link you some images of my Warhammer minis uh, here like I always do in V.GG, but it's okay. Did you see Hassan praise you in his newer vid? Uh, newer vid, like the like in the past couple of days? I saw some praise like a week ago. Um, I don't know if that's what you're referring to, though. Alex Wong with the five dollars. Thank you. Really sorry to hear your friend is sneaking in racist propaganda. You gotta... You gotta Got to give him a big hug. Noisy room with the incredibly kind 10 bucks. 
Roger Stone's a miracle. The fact that he can operate with half a frontal lobe is a testament to human biology. His forehead runs at a 45-degree angle, which proves anyone can make it the GOP. Hey, that's not a downside. That's a, that's a fucking boon in the GOP. Are you kidding me? It was Hassan's newest Ben Shibuno video. Nice. All right, all right. Balthazar with the 10 bucks. Is it too late to sacrifice Maldi New to Hakkar? Also, it's not surprising to see giant banana slugs in Humboldt. They're called UC Santa Cruz students. Yeah, they're so cute. Um, banana slugs are really cute. You should uh, Google them. Watch the Hassan praise clip, please. What, what, praise, what, what praise clip? Listen, I'm ending the stream. I will click the link in v.gg if any of you have a link to a Hassan praise clip, okay? Um, oh, goodness, I have to finish this. Herenia Hope with the incredibly kind 10 bucks. Is your partner uh, non-binary? Um, I just default to like they. I think um, Haina just goes by they, them generally these days. If, if I am to believe, I, I, I honestly kind of forget. I just kind of default to they, them sort of as a exercise in caution. Yeah, cancel enough. Agender, that's it. Agender, not non-binary, which is kind of non-binary, but agender. Did Hassan have another brownout? Maybe, I don't know. I'm not his pants. Mendocino is the best county in the Emerald Triangle. Maybe a uh, rainbow turtle dude. Haven't spent much time there. Um, yeah. A gender. Um, all right, listen up, folks. It's time to end. Everyone, go and check out Xander Hall's stream. And go be nice. Um, rest in power, Michael Brooks. We will carry on your legacy. Uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna do so much leftism. It's gonna be unbelievable. You will, uh, uh, Brooks. Brooks could not fathom how much leftism we are uh, going to be doing uh, in the near future. Uh, Brooks, he, he, he couldn't. He couldn't believe it. He couldn't believe it. Uh, and that's how we're honoring. We're, we'll do all the leftism. All right. Stay strong, guys.